base man coverage in our defensive scheme, what we like to build upon when we're building a defensive scheme, what we like to look for, and this base man coverage is the cover two man, also known as the two men under, can be found in almost every formation in the game, and we really, really like this uh, this play. Uh, it's almost always there for us, and we like to use it to our advantage. I'm going to show you how to set it up real quick. Uh, but our basic man coverage usually will consist of our base setup, so out of 4-4, we typically baseline and press, but when we're running the 4-4 two man under, or any two man under, we do not want to press coverage. So we're going to baseline, that's all we're going to do. We're going to um, and then we're going to crash our defensive line. Uh, well, we won't, we'll only do that if we're blitzing. So since we're not blitzing, we don't need to do that. So what I like to do is I like to purple my, uh, both of my defensive end or defensive tackles here, and then I like to shade my coverage to the outside, and then I'll drop a defensive end uh, depending on which side is the wide side of the field. And, and in a situation where it's in the middle, it doesn't matter. But a wide side of the field, you would blitz the, sh the guy on the short side. But I'm going to drop a, a defensive end into the hooks here. And then I'm going to user control uh, out of this formation. I'd like to use a controller free safety. So what I may do is put Duran in a deep blue and then use user Wilcox on a spiller and just watch out for him. And the snap of the ball, what you want to do is you just want to lurk. Uh, a lot of times people are going to be using corner routes, post routes, stuff like that. But when you have a good defensive lineman like a DeMarcus Ware, this becomes a valuable pass option uh, that we can use um, against our opponent to force him to make tough decisions in the pocket, to force him to have to hesitate a little bit. This is really good to be mixing it in with all of the other plays we like to do out of the formation of the 4-4. Um, and uh, every play, guys, every defense has to have a two-man under, in my opinion. Two-man under is one of the most powerful coverages in Madden 25, and it holds no... Uh, it's no different in the 4-4. It's one of the better coverages. It's just so good because it just everything that is uh, two men under it takes time to develop. It doesn't. You don't have a route that's just going to snap throw and you're going to beat two men under outside of zigs and drags. But we can adjust off that. We can build upon that. And uh, I just want you guys to to be using two men under again, guys. Base man coverage is just that. It's a base play call. It's something you use on second and long to kind of change it up. Uh, just something you want to use to fill your opponent out. You're not necessarily looking to shut your opponent down with this play call. This is more of a contained defense you can use to slow, to slow him down, not shut him down. So that's what we like to use uh, our base man coverage for in our defensive scheme. So be sure to have a two man under in your playbook so that you can use it effectively to cause uh, heavy man coverage out of any formation in Mad 25. Thanks for watching, guys, today. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, the comment section, or you can hit me up on my email address. All the links will be in the description for you. If you would like to check out a little bit more detailed version of the five sets for success, do not hesitate to uh, look in the description and check out Team Prima, MadTips.com's uh, e-guides. They can help you out. They can hook you up with a really detailed explanation of why uh, the five sets for success are so successful. Thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. Have any questions, let me know. If you guys are new, also if you're new, uh, if you need help, ask for help. We are here to help you. We're not here for ourselves. We're here to make each other better at this game. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.